Hello everyone, welcome to lecture four. Now lecture four is the continuation of lecture one, two, three, okay? So just to review, in lecture one we talked about how to choose a topic. In lecture two we talked about how to categorize a topic. In lecture three, after you find your articles, I talked about how to read a paragraph. Now here I'm going to continue talking about a paragraph. The paragraphs are not usually as simple as I talked in the previous uh, session, all right? So uh, the paragraphs usually have other information than the main topic. Okay, so here, a perfect paragraph should have a main topic or topic sentence, which sometimes, of course, is implied. So it doesn't appear, but we assume that it appears, okay? B, supporting details. So the paragraph must uh, have different supporting details, meaning different types of the main topic, comes with examples, comes with evidences, right? And C is the conclusion. So a paragraph, a perfect paragraph, must also have a conclusion. All right, so this is a perfect paragraph which has all the features. But again, it doesn't mean that all of the paragraphs must have all of the features, all right? So, I would like to talk about the previous uh, paragraph. Volcanic ash can be hazardous and beneficial. So this is topic sentence. It has two parts, A and B, okay? So during the volcanic eruption, the wind can blow volcanic ash long distances and cause nasal irritation. So this is su supporting detail, A1, because here we have A and B, okay? Uh, please, everybody, let me go to the editing. All right. So as you can see here, volcanic ash can be hazardous. This is A. Or beneficial. This is B. Okay, so A1 is the supporting of the hazard. Okay? And volcanic ash can destroy cities. So this is A2. So one more time, we have hazards. And so this sentence and this one are about the hazards. And also we have the benefits. Okay, and of course this sentence is about the benefits, so this is B1. So we have two supporting details for the hazards and one supporting detail for the benefits of volcanic ash. Okay, now volcanic ash can be hazardous and beneficial again. Then we have A1 and A2. But please everybody notice that here I also want to include some examples. But then I don't have any examples for A1. Volcanic ash can um, uh, create, for example, a, um, a cause nasal irritation. So this is A. This is A1, and volcanic ash can cause, can destroy cities, A2. But I can refer, I can have one example for this. As an example, then there was a um, volcanic ash experience which destroyed the whole city. All right. But then I will go to B. B is... beneficial. So this is B. Okay, so this is B1. Now everybody, uh, I want to give evidence, an example for this one. Then I can refer to another article. Okay, so this is one evidence for that. So, and then finally in conclusion, the immediate destructive nature of volcanic ash can change to be to benefit with the passing of time. Okay, so this is a perfect paragraph. So when you are going to write the term paper, uh, you can actually develop different paragraphs by referring to the articles you read. So you can put the articles, for example, in one article talking about the benefits, in one article talking about the negative effects of volcanic ash, then you can put them together and you can bring evidences and examples from one article or maybe more than one article. Here, if I had more 
evidences, more examples than I would add here. Okay, so that is uh, how to write a um, um, perfect paragraph. Okay, everyone, bye-bye until the next session.